guys, this is Tao and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another episode of Empty Products or Pan Porn. Again, Pan Porn is just that etheric feeling you get when you hit pan on something. And yeah, I came across that term on Makeup Alley and I stuck with it. It's a good term. So I got a lot of products. So without further ado, let's get started. I finished up a lot of body care products all at once because I'm the kind that I get tired of one scent so I have multiple body washes open at the same time and then I use it all up at the same time. First of all, we have the Dove uh, Purely Pampering Nourishing Body Wash and this is in pistachio cream. It has a really mild scent. I don't think it smells that much like pistachio. It probably has a little bit more of a nutty scent, but it still has a basic dove, like a pure original dove scent. So um, I like it. It's It does leave a lotion-y feeling on your skin, and it's really gentle, so I really like that one. So next up, we have the Soft Soap Winter Mint Snowfall. I actually got this last holiday season, and it just took me a year to use it up. And it smells like peppermint I wouldn't repurchase this again just because the scent I mean it's just a peppermint um, it's not as invigorating as Dr. Bronner's peppermint the Castile soap and I just I find it okay and it also slightly dried out my skin but that's just me this one is the Carez evenly gorgeous burnt brown sugar and carrot 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 butter I don't know, but this is one of my favorite body washes of all time. I love the scent. I typically am not a fan of like exotic, sensual, whatever scent because usually those have musk in it. And it smells, yes, it does smell sophisticated. It does smell all grown up, but it also, it smells really heavy. This is, I think it's the brown sugar in it that while it's, it still smells really like a sexy scent, it has a little bit of a, a sweetness to it. So I love this one. And it also has uh, like exfoliating beads in it. And it's, oh, it's amazing. It's pure joy to just use this. I love it. Then we have some hair products. One is the Organics Repairing Awapuhi, Awapuhi Ginger Conditioner. I always get more conditioner than shampoo because I run out of conditioner way faster um, because I only use a little bit of shampoo on my roots and then I use all the conditioner on the bottom of my hair <laughs> I look like a head floating because my hair is start yeah so I don't have matching shampoo for this but um, this is the repairing kind I really like this it has a really nice floral scent um, I don't smell as much of the ginger but it's it's it makes my hair really soft. I don't notice being repairing. I don't. I actually don't notice anything being repairing other than you know sweet almond oil or like coconut oil. But um, it makes my hair really really soft. If you have really fine hair though, I probably wouldn't recommend this because I feel that like when I get it a little too close to my scalp, it weighs down my hair. So, and then I have the Batiste dry shampoo. This is in fruity and cheeky cherry. I love Batiste dry shampoo. I live off of dry shampoo. I hate washing my hair just because I don't blow dry. So it takes a long time for my hair to dry and it's cold. So, And then I have the Aussie Moist 3 Minute Miracle Deep with like 5 E's treatment. This is a stable, really moisturizing, makes my hair really soft and manageable. And I think that's it for hair. Oh, actually, no, just kidding. I have two more. These are the sample size, though. So I have the Dove. This is the Advanced Hair Series Oxygen Moisture. I think I like the shampoo more than the conditioner. The shampoo cleans my hair really well, but it doesn't weigh it down, um, obviously, because it's for fine and uh, flat hair, so it volumizes a little bit. Conditioner, it's not as moisturizing as I would have liked. Now let's move on to face. This is the uh, Neutrogena Ultra Dental Daily Cleanser. To be honest, this is, was mostly used up by Brian. It doesn't really have a scent. Like it's a really, really faint, fresh scent. But I find that I found that this was a little bit too harsh for my skin, even though this is ultra gentle. Um, he used this one up. He likes it. I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of that one. The Crazy Naive. Uh, Facial cleansing oil. 
I enjoyed it. It takes off my makeup really well, and it's a clean, facial cleansing oil. I go through them all really quickly. And then I have the Yes to Carrots. Uh, this is Nourishing Repairing Night Cream. I really liked it at first, and then the smell got annoying. I think I guess I was used to the smell, so it got annoying, and I didn't like it. So I ended up using it as a body butter, and yeah, I probably wouldn't repurchase although I do have a backup because I got them on clearance so I have one more waiting in the wing and that's it for face care now let's get on to makeup the exciting part right so again uh, I have a lot of mascara I go through mascara really really quickly so the Chanel uh, inimitable that's a lot of syllables Inimitable uh, mascara. This one was in. Is it more waterproof? No, I don't think so. But it is made in France. Fancy, huh? I was really sad. It was a really sad day when this decided to uh, drop because it was very expensive, but it worked really, really well. So it's gonna be a special occasion when I repurchase this again. But it's a really great mascara. And then we have the Jordana. Best Volume Extreme. Eh, the brush is a ginormous. Giant! And I didn't think that it added that much volume. It was pretty much a dud for me. And then I have the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. Waterproof. I use it as a base. A great mascara. I love Maybelline Waterproof Mascaras. You guys know this. I've said it over and over again. This is a great mascara. So next up, we have the Laura Mercier Full Blown Volume Lash Mascara. And this has natural bristle brush. It was okay. I didn't, I mean, it did its job. It darkened my lashes and make my lashes look good, but it's not great. Like, I wouldn't pay retail price for it. I got it in a gift with purchase. Face makeup. I finished the Phys Physician's Formula Youthful Wear Spotless Foundation. I really enjoyed it because being as liquidy as it was, it a lot of coverage and it also kept my skin really moisturized because it feels almost like a serum. Um, I've been using it uh, off and on for a while now just because I feel like you kind of go through this quickly because it's liquidy so and it comes in a dropper so sometimes you, I feel like you waste a lot of product. but. Um, Physicians Formula is always running promotion, so um, I'll wait for a sale to pick it up again. And then I have Fabuliner in black. This one is the Skinny Tip one. It lasted really, really, really long time. I was very impressed. This was a good buy. I really like it. Highly recommend. And then I have the Boots Number no. 7 Radiant Glow. This is the concealer, and I have the shade in one. I got this because it reminded me of uh, YSL, the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Clot, and it wasn't cheap actually. It was like 11, 12 bucks at Target, and I feel like it didn't have as much coverage and brightening ability compared with the uh, YSL one, and I just I wouldn't purchase this again. I much prefer my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Brightener. And then lastly, we have the e.l.f. Nourishing Cuticle Pen. I kind of broke it. I was a little too aggressive with this, and I pushed the tip in, so now I can't use it anymore. But while I had it, it was good. Um, it moisturized my cuticle pretty well. Um, I need some serious TLC on my hands again, but um, it was only a dollar, I believe, and I really enjoyed it while I had it. I'm going to pick up some more from Target soon or Walmart. I think they sell e.l.f. everywhere now. So yeah, I'm going to get another one. So you are a trooper for making it this far. Please let me know down below if you have any questions, comments, if you have any video requests. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's IamGrape1119 and I will see you guys next time. Until then, stay safe and warm. Thanks.